Hello everyone, um, this is just a quick video on my go-kart. So yeah, you've probably seen it on other videos on my channel and that kind of thing. Uh, it's basically just a moped at the back. Um, it's had a 70cc kit been put on it before I got it. Um, but it wasn't running, so I got it for free from a mate of mine. Um, managed to get it going, there's a bearing that was falling out actually, but anyway, yeah, managed to get it going, so that was okay. Um, cut it in half, plain and simply, um, sort of made this chassis out of some box section, um, and this front steering uh, box and all that lot is from a lawnmower, and I've widened it with a thing like a scaffold tube and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I've been having problems with it um, not running right, it's all constantly over choked. Um, and so I decided to convert it to run on LPG, which is liquefied petroleum gas. It's an alternative fuel uh, that's um, becoming quite popular in the UK now. Um, so yeah, what you need to do that is obviously um, a vaporizer, which takes the gas from the tank there, which is liquid gas, um, turns it into a vapor, which can then be run along that pipe uh, and down into this. Uh, tube here, and inside there's a venturi, which effectively increases the um, pressure of it and um, allows it to act as a carburetor effectively and, and adjust the suction from when you you know open and close the throttle. It's quite clever, really. Um, anyways, that's just a pipe uh, with the Jubilee clip on there onto the carburetor, um, and then of course because it's turning liquid into a vapor, uh, the chemical process of that you know takes heat from the surroundings. So it, um, if you don't sort of have a way of heating this, it freezes up. So what you have to do is you have to link it in with the um, radiator system, which means that the hot water that's circulating around that heats this up um, and stops it freezing. So you need to do that. Uh, I've got a nice sort of air filter on there. It's going a bit rusty now, but <laughs> it did look nice once. Um, so yeah, that's that should uh, hopefully stop it from running over choked all the time. Uh, it's not quite finished yet. I've got a bit of work to do. Um, got the uh, yeah, got the petrol solenoid there. That's uh, that's so you can have it on, so you can sort of um, have it on petrol or gas. You can choose, you know, which one you want. Um, but that needs wiring up and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's coming along, coming along quite nicely. So yeah, this is the tank. Um, I bought it on eBay for a tenner, I think, or something like that. It was quite cheap. Um, so yeah, I'm making this sort of uh, bracket for it at the bottom here, out of uh, just um, one inch angle iron. Um, bolted it to the chassis, sorry, to the axle uh, there and there. Um, and then welded in this bit along the front here. Um, it's still a bit wobbly, so I've made, I've made this one here to go in there to brace it, to make it more rigid. Um, that just needs welding on both sides. Um, and of course I've got to connect up the uh, pipe to the vaporizer from there, run that along the chassis, uh, and obviously the wires and stuff for the uh, sender, which will go to a, um, the main control switch for the LPG, which I haven't got here yet. But um, that allows you to toggle back and forth between gas or petrol, you know, depending on which one you want. Um, but yeah, it should be good. It should so solve the uh, over choking problem that it's having at the moment, um, which should make it go faster, which is good. Um, yeah, so I'll have an update soon on that, hopefully. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.